What's up everybody, it's Tanish. So today I'm going to be explaining one of a really cool mod that you can do on your diesel vehicle which can improve the performance significantly. That mod is called EGR Delete. Now what's EGR Delete? Let's find out. So EGR Delete, it means quite literal, deleting of the EGR. Now what's EGR? Let's first understand that. Now basically EGR or the exhaust gas recirculation or exhaust gas recirculator. Now that system recirculates some of the unburnt exhaust. It throws back some of the unburnt exhaust back into the intake manifold. This restricts some of the fresh air from entering into the cylinder. Now fresh air is really important for diesel combustion because fresh air will lead to a little higher temperature, better combustion of diesels. I'll make a separate detailed video on basic combustion principle. So if you guys want to see that video also, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now EGR systems have a separate valve which controls when to let the exhaust gases go into the cylinder. So that opens or closes at particular RPM or those controls are given through the ECU itself. This is put by the company to reduce NOx emissions from the diesels. Now diesels inherently produce less carbon emissions than the petrol vehicles. However, the diesels can produce higher amounts of NOx emissions than petrol vehicles. Although EGR reduces the NOx emissions from your vehicle, it actually increases the carbon emissions from your vehicle and more worse, it actually increases soot particles and more particulate matter from your vehicles. So companies also have to put a separate diesel particulate filter or a DPF at the exhaust. The other worst parts about EGR are reduced fuel efficiency, loss of power and torque and loss of longevity in diesel vehicles. So to eliminate those problems, reduce engine damage and increase diesel performance, the EGR is deleted. This can be done in many ways. But one of the best ways to delete the EGR is to physically block the EGR pipe using a blanking plate. Now blanking plate will restrict the exhaust gases from entering into the intake manifold. Now that deletes the EGR itself. Now more fresh air will be able to get inside the cylinders. The other way to delete the EGR is to disconnect the EGR sensor which actuates the valves opening or closing. But there's a huge risk attached to it. Because if the EGR valve is stuck in an open position, then even at the times when EGR valve has to close, there will be exhaust gases flowing inside the cylinders. So that's not a good way to delete the EGR. The last option is to completely delete the entire system. Now this can be really advantageous because there's no system to send the exhaust gases into the intake manifold. But this can be quite expensive. So I decided for my EGR delete, I went with the blanking system. So deleting the EGR of your diesel vehicle will give you quite a lot of advantages. Number one, it's performance. Your vehicle will face a considerable boost in horsepower and torque, especially at the lower RPMs. So a stock diesel vehicle without any additional emission equipments is able to produce good amount of torque at a lower RPM but not so much of a horsepower. Now this is advantages in applications like off-roading where you need higher torque at lower RPMs to reduce any sort of wheel spins. But EGR can hamper your vehicle's torque and horsepower. So you might have to accelerate, release the clutch pedal and create some wheel spin. That's okay for racing but not good for off-roading at all. So deleting the EGR will actually improve the vehicle's torque and horsepower at lower RPMs, which is quite needed for off-roading. Number two, fuel efficiency. Since no exhaust gas can enter into vehicle's intake manifold, therefore more fresh air will be able to get inside the cylinder. So this will lead to better and efficient burning of fuel, resulting in better fuel efficiency, and of course performance and also resulting in number three reduced carbon emissions yes it does reduce carbon emissions number four better longevity or increased engine life 
since EGR is sending the exhaust gases inside the intake manifold, so the soot particles and the carbon particles will line the intake manifold. This will lead to much more wear and tear of your engine. And that's the ultimate reason which reduces engine life. So if you want better longevity from your engine, if you want to increase your engine life, if you want to maintain your engine for more than 10 years, more than 15 years, more than even 20 years, delete your EGR. So by deleting the EGR, it will increase your engine life. Now this last one is for diesel lovers, but number five, deleting the EGR will actually improve the vehicle's sound. So while deleting the EGR will give you a lot of benefits, there are some few disadvantages also you might have to deal with. Like I mentioned that the EGR is put by the companies to reduce NOx emissions. So this will lead to the first disadvantage, failed emissions test. The increased airflow of deleted EGR will raise the temperature. Now that's good for diesel combustion and better performance, but that will increase the NOx emissions slightly. Even a slight increase in NOx or nitrogen emissions will make your vehicle fail the pollution test. Number two, in some vehicles, it may reduce the engine fueling. In some vehicles, the EGR is connected to the ECM or the ECU of the vehicle. In those cases, if you delete your EGR, the ECM or the ECU will reduce the engine fueling. That means how much fuel gets into the engine. The reduced fueling will actually reduce the energy needed to push the piston back. In those cases, your vehicle will enter into limp mode. That means your vehicle won't start at all. In those cases, either you have to trick the ECU by manipulating the sensors or you might have to remap the ECU and delete the EGR software. So after watching this entire video, you guys would rather ask me that should we delete our EGR? The answer is yes. Although your vehicle might not pass the emission norms or you have to spend some time in manipulating the sensors or spend some cost in remapping the ECU, there are a lot of short term and long term benefits of deleting the EGR. They are not short term but all of them are quite long term benefits. So a lot of consumers want mileage and longevity from their vehicles while youngsters like us want performance from the vehicles and deleting the EGR will give you both of these advantages. As far as environmental concern goes, yes, deleting the EGR will increase the NOx emissions a little bit, but it will significantly reduce the carbon emissions and soot particles formation. So deleting the EGR will give you much more environmental benefits also. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to be implementing EGR delete on the Mahindra Thar. I'm going to show you some sound and performance benefits of it. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It would really mean a lot for me. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any, any future video. And if you have any song suggestion in your mind, or if you want if you have any sort of feedback, if you want me to make more of these technical videos also for you guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want if you want me to make this video even in Hindi, please let me know in the comment section. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Until now, bye for now.